Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of what I'm now going to call the BWOW, the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to the channel or have even seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all of the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or if I think it's all a washout. I normally film these the Monday or Tuesday before, but now that this is bi-weekly, we've got a lot more products and something big dropped yesterday. I'm filming this the Friday before this goes up, and that something big is, after how many years, finally, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. So Jaclyn Hill did this whole big, like, reveal video, and I happened to be, like, on the YouTube app on my phone when it came out. And I was like, okay, is this actually happening? Let me take a look. And it was like a half hour long video about how basically it felt like a bunch of excuses as to why it took so long for her brand to come out. And at the end of the, at the end of everything, it's lipsticks. She's coming out with like 18 ish bullet lipsticks. Uh, they're $18 each and they're all just nude. So there's like a wide variety of nude lipsticks. My first thought was like, really, out of everything, you could have started with lipsticks. But then I kind of circled back to thinking about all her collabs, and she's literally come out with a collab for just about every other makeup product except lipsticks. She did eyeshadow palettes, she did face palettes, she did highlighters, she did basically everything but lip products. So th keeping that in mind, I can kind of see like, okay branching out into something you haven't collabed on because you've done a bajillion collabs was a pretty smart business decision. But mm, me personally, as a consumer, I barely reach for bullet lipsticks. I just don't. I really don't. And they're just nudes. <laughs> so I, I already mentioned before that I really wouldn't be interested in Jaclyn Cosmetics or whatever it is. Smart of her to keep out the last name. But um, I, I wouldn't be interested just because of all the, like, there's too much hype around it and it took forever to come out and she's got so many collabs as it is anyway. So I already knew I wouldn't be interested and this just solidified it. I mean, I'll stay up to date and keep up with anything else that she might come out with. <sighs> Though I will say, you know what, I am surprised that it actually, like, happened eventually right she's only been talking about it since like what 2014 next i want to talk about this abh palette so it is a collab with Alyssa edwards and oh my god i actually really want this palette <laughs> i think it's really just that um yellow red and blue sucking me in like they look really pretty and I've been on an ABH kick I'm panning an ABH palette this year I've been using a lot of ABH palettes and products uh, oh I just really like the formula of their palettes and this looks right up my alley I cannot wait to get this and try it out <laughs> it's definitely uh, gonna be limited edition it is a collab so I'm probably gonna try to pick this up like the first day it's released within stores. I don't know if it's going to be like with Sephora or with Ulta. Hopefully it's with Ulta so I can get better rewards on it, but I, I want this. So a quick update. I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but I jumped right into the Jacqueline stuff. I actually just picked up and got uh, the new Juvia's Place foundation and concealer. I'm not wearing the foundation today just because I have, well, I'm going to a wedding tomorrow and tonight I'm going to a big family event, so I needed to put a foundation on that I knew would last. I didn't want to test anything new this weekend. Um, so I haven't tried out the foundation yet, but I'm wearing the concealer. I was actually shocked I was able to find my actual concealer shade <laughs> online. I'm horrible at picking out my own shades, but it's actually a really good match. And so I'm testing that out today. I probably won't wear this during the wedding because I have no idea how it's gonna perform throughout a full day. This is my first full day wearing it, but I'm really excited to try it out. And I keep forgetting, I've ordered once before, like directly from Juvia's place, and the shipping for me was super quick, but only because it looks like they're based or they ship out of Secaucus. Which, if you don't know, I do live in Jersey, so I'm like 20 minutes away from Secaucus. So I got the package like speedy quick. <laughs> and I have to remember that Juvia's Place is that close and that I probably should order directly from their website more often. I was just a bit hesitant because I did have an issue with like one of their palettes kind of breaking in transit. So I was hesitant about their palettes. But there any of their other products, it's 
it would behoove me to buy them online because they're so close. Uh, so I will do a full video testing both the foundation and the concealer at some point. I just can't do it during this wedding weekend. <laughs> And then I've got a crazy week at work, so hopefully it'll be coming in the next couple of weeks. Let's talk about this. Natasha Denona came out with a new palette, and this is the Sunrise palette, which is supposed to, I guess, be a sister palette to the Sunset palette. And I gotta say, at first, yes, I was tempted, but if I actually think about it and look at these shades... Most of them are in the Sunset palette. What isn't in the Sunset palette, I have in other palettes. It wasn't until I looked at the swatches that I realized how close they are. Because if you're looking just at the palette, oh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. But look at the swatches. Really, like, zoom in on the swatches and tell yourself you've got those shades. Because I do. A hundred times over, I do. So I'm glad they posted the swatches because it was looking at the swatches that made me realize, yeah, that's really nothing special. I was really just drawn in by the arrangement of the shadows and the packaging. A hundred percent. And these are so expensive, I can't. I just can't. So Tarte came out with a new rainbow palette. It looks kind of bleh. I still haven't bought from Tarte ever since their whole foundation fiasco and when they were like really talking down to their customers about it. Uh... Yeah, so I haven't bought from them. I'm not going to buy this. It doesn't look that great. Uh, meh. Now this palette. <laughs> Whew. So Ace Butte, or Ace Butte, however you want to pronounce it, is coming out with this palette. And I have to say, I have been really interested in trying out this brand, but a palette hasn't really pulled me in. This one's pulling me in, but uh, it's really not different from the Blue Blood palette or the New Color Pop palette. We'll get to that or um the certify palette i just picked up which unfortunately it does look like that certify palette is irritating to my eyes and the shimmers don't last well on my eyes so i i am gonna film like a video on it um but i'm most likely i'm gonna declutter that to a friend of mine uh, i don't need this palette but this brand is on my list of brands i want to try in 2019 and odds are this is the palette that i'm gonna pick up from them an update to a palette I talked about in the last Be Wow. See, this is the secret palette from Nabla Cosmetics. This is why I wanted to see the palette like as a palette and not as like a Photoshop mock-up because it looks a hundred it looks totally different as an actual palette. They still posted the Photoshop swatches, so I'm gonna ignore those. But the palette itself, it still looks pretty, but it looks like a billion other things that I already have. And this is why I wanna see real swatches. I wanna see the real palette. I mean, Photoshop mock-ups are great if you're, like, testing the waters. Like, would you like a palette like this? Like, like what Certified did. That was very smart of them. And then they made it a real palette. You can't use that in all your marketing, though. You just can't. So, now that I've seen the actual palette... No. Huda Beauty is expanding their obsession palettes with some neon palettes. And am I the only one who doesn't think these are really that neon? I have a couple of the Obsession palettes and they're okay. Uh, I've heard really mixed reviews on the ones that I don't personally have, especially like that blue-green one, which is very disappointing because I kind of really wanted to try that one out. But I'm not interested in this one. The only one that I would kind of be leaning towards is that green one and there's two, one row of greens in it. Colourpop is the next in what seems like a long line of brands now that is dropping a blue palette. This is the, what do you call the Blue Moon palette. So it's one of their nine pan palettes, just like the Just My Luck palette that I did a video on. And it's just all blue shades. I mean, the packaging is gorgeous, of course. The shades do look pigmented from their swatches. This would most likely be like a smaller dupe for the Blue Blood palette, which I have. So I don't feel the need to pick this up. Unless you guys really wanted to see like an in-depth like comparison between blue blood and this palette which i mean could be useful if you didn't want to pick up blue blood and you're interested in like that smaller palette from ColourPop. But that's the only reason why i would really pick this up because i already have blue palettes galore funny thing about this new kkw collection the new mrs west collection um I can't remember if I already talked about this or not because it's so boring. But then again, it's really intended to be inspired by a bridal look. It's supposed to be very neutral, very glam, very like boring. 
boring but pretty. And uh, that's all I'm getting out of this. Uh, I would definitely not pick any of this up. Yeah, I mean, that, I think that's it. Like, it's it's just a six-pan palette. It's a nude lipstick. It's a nude gloss. And I don't know, are those eye powders? I don't know. There's an eyeshadow palette. There is a lipstick, lip liner, gloss. Oh, it's a blush. And that's it. Like, oh my god. Like, BH Cosmetics showed off their new mini Zodiac palette. This is the Gemini one. And while it looks a little better than most of them, I, I'm starting to think that these mini palettes aren't really a great idea. They're heavy on the neutrals. While it's cute that it's mini and they're trying to bank off of the success of their big Zodiac palette, I think they're really missing the point here. <laughs> uh, Zodiac, I feel like that trend died a bit ago. At least I'm hoping it did. Yeah. Because I think the only really good thing that came out of that whole trend were the, their big Zodiac palettes, especially their first one. I think the second one was still okay, not as good as their first big Zodiac palette. So I think this is going to get... Ooh, it's windy outside. I think this is going to get pretty old pretty fast if it hasn't already. And I'm not interested... I haven't found one of these that I'm actually interested in picking up. Especially mine, because mine, I'm Capricorn. Mine was the first one released and it was literally all browns. <laughs> like, wow... I should have mentioned this earlier with the other ABH product, but ABH is coming out with an eye primer and it does look like it's tinted. It looks like it's like a really light beige. I don't know what the price is on this. I haven't seen a price yet. I would be interested in testing this out, but quite honestly, I don't think you need to spend that much on a good eye primer. A good concealer will work for you. I've been panning a Tarte concealer, trying to get out of my collection. I'm using that as an eye primer. My personal favorite eye primers are the MAC Paint Pots. I actually picked up two of those during the Ulta sale because they were half off. I picked up two for 11 bucks. Those last months of daily use. So I think if you're really looking for a good eye primer and you're willing to spend a little bit, those are really great. Or the Milani eyeshadow primer from the drugstore. That is one of the best affordable eyeshadow primers out there. I just have to make sure I set it. So I can put it on, I set it with powder, and then I go in. I can't go in with that tacky or it just kind of ruins everything for me but I've seen other videos of people who they they can use a tacky so I think it really depends on your chemistry and your body and all that sciencey stuff clearly it's early in the morning and I haven't had a full cup of coffee yet but <laughs> in my experience I've had to set it so those are my two recommendations but just out of honestly pure curiosity and out of the whole ABH kick that I've been on recently I kind of just want to try this out and see how it is too Faced is coming out with another one of like their smaller palettes, which is called the Shake Your Pom Poms on the Fly palette. It's $25 for these shades. Eh. Honestly, I haven't been really too excited about brands when they come out with these smaller kind of palettes. Like Urban Decay did it a lot with their, um, like they had a mini naked palette. They had the, the naked petite or the petite heat one. Uh, I just don't think these are worth it, to be perfectly honest. If I'm looking for a small, travel-friendly palette like this, I'll reach for something from the drugstore, something a bit more affordable, and not this. Yeah. I gotta say, the, the packaging is pretty cute, but uh, I'm not gonna buy something for the packaging. Okay, and quite honestly, I thought I would have more that was interesting me, but I really don't see that much else. <laughs> Let me know down below if there's anything I may have missed, and again, this is pre-filmed a bit further ahead of time, so there might be things announced in the meantime that I'm gonna miss. But as always, thank you for watching this weekly wishlist or washout. Let me know down below what you want to see me react to that I might have missed. Thank you again for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.